This is Millmore. This used to be the home of Rotherham United. 15 years ago, Rotherham were forced out of the stadium. Why is that? And why is it still here? Popular UK show Ch -ch Chuckle Vision was voted as one of the best children's comedy series of all time, written by double act Barry and Paul and filmed in Rotherham, South Yorkshire. The Chuckle Brothers were rock stars to eight year olds up and down the country. Down, down, down! Up, up, up! Oh, oh. Looks like we're not going anywhere. The Chuckle Brothers were huge fans of a football team called Rotherham United. There's nothing funny about that. Rotherham United were founded in the year 1925. I wasn't there, but you'll have to take my word for it. Millmore was their home from the very beginning. The town of Rotherham had somewhere they could go on Saturdays. It wasn't perfect, but it was theirs, and that made it special. It's the 1980s. Synth pop is taking over. Frankie goes to Hollywood and Rotherham go into administration. The Ken Booth era began. The owner of CF Booth, 65 year old Ken Booth, bought Rotherham. CF Booth Limited is a family owned scrap metal firm located in the heart of Rotherham. Rotherham were a club that fluctuated between the third and fifth years of English football. But in 1997, Ken Booth brought former Rotherham striker Ronnie Moore in to manage the club. Ronnie Moore earned the club promotion into the second tier. This promotion aligned deliciously with the announcement of a new TV premium sports channel, ITV Sport. ITV Sport launched in August 2001. It would broadcast English Football League matches. Sounds good, right? No. Due to low profit and subscriber numbers, ITV Digital collapsed in 2002 and was unable to pay the full amount of the television deal agreed with the football league clubs. We are talking millions and millions of pounds that the football clubs below the newly established premiership were told they would receive had budgeted on the basis that they would be receiving but never did. 14 clubs were placed into administration within four years of the collapse of ITV Digital. Who are you? It's a question I ask myself a lot. I make YouTube videos, I travel, I explore the world. And why are you so passionate about Rotherham? I just love the place. I mean, I just love the people. I love the greys, the browns. How many times have you been to Rotherham? This is the first time. 2004, the streets take over UK radio channels and Rotherham go 20 matches without a win. Dry your eyes, Rotherham fans. It could be worse, and it will be worse. Rotherham finished rock bottom of the championship in 2005, which meant relegation to League One. The ITV Sport deal and relegation meant Rotherham had become very reliant on Ken Booth's money, but an 83-year-old Ken Booth had decided he wanted to sell. In 2007, Rotherham were relegated again, this time into League Two. The club had sunk into the bottom tier of English football, into mounds of debt, and inevitably into administration. Somehow, it was about to get worse. Ken Booth sold Rotherham to a group consisting mostly of Rotherham United supporters for one pound on the condition that he kept Millmore Stadium. Local businessman Tony Stewart became chairman of Rotherham. It was up to Stewart and Ken Booth, owner of Millmore, to negotiate plans moving forward. Those talks between Tony Stewart and Ken Booth broke down, so Rotherham were forced to leave Millmore Stadium. When asked why, Tony Stewart said there were 18 items I didn't agree with. Rotherham then moved to Sheffield, where they played their home matches at the Don Valley Athletics Stadium, whilst they built a new stadium for the club back in Rotherham. This is the New York Stadium, Rotherham's new home. Rotherham moved into this modern 12,000 capacity arena back in 2012. But what about Millmore? Looks like a wall zone, does this, doesn't it? I know people are keen to get in, but I'm not that keen that I'm going to go through two layers of barbed wire. They are really deterring people from getting anywhere inside. I'm curious to know what your theory is about why it's so hard to get in. Well, I reckon there's some ancient secrets in there. Yeah, like that. How they built the pyramids or something. I reckon <laughs> they've kept it in Rotherham Stadium. We believe we have found Area 51. remnants of an old turnstile. 
Oh. You can see 14 year and under OAPs. Oh yeah. And I believe that must just be the turnstile number. Sometimes you're better off dead There's a gun in your hand that's pointing at your head You think you're mad, too unstable Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables In a restaurant in a West End town Call the police, there's a madman around Running to The Booth family have only ever applied to use the land To store old train carriages to be scrapped You can mm. see, can't you, just in there That's a train oh, Another yeah. train <laughs> Multiple trains Do you know what? I don't break rules. I'm going to break a rule. That is shocking. Lock her up. <laughs> Am I right to just leave you here or? to think what happened to that guy. News outlets and journalists have all contacted the Boo family to find out what's going on, but the family have always declined to comment. A once home to a football club is now just left as though it's a piece of scrap. And the irony is the owners of the stadium are a family of a scrap metal firm. <laughs> In 2008 was the last time Rotherham United played a football match here. It hasn't been bulldozed, the land hasn't been used for a hospital or housing or a retail park. It's still a football stadium. It just has no football club. Yeah. 